Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TinyTap to create your own online courses that you can sell to make a little side income. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this process works. Now, I should point out, if you didn't see my video last week about the basics of creating a TinyTap course, go ahead and click the link. It's right down below here. But we're going to use courses.tinytap.com. And while you're here, you might want to preview some other courses that are available for purchase, like learning letters A through Z, or this one about seasons of fun and learning about the seasons. But while you're here at courses.tinytap.com, click Get Started. That will take you to your TinyTap account. Go ahead and sign into your account if you haven't already, and then create a course. And I'm going to create a course here about weather. As some of you know, I have two little girls at home and they ask me all kinds of interesting questions. A lot of times they're about weather. So it's going to be called Weather for Kids. And my course summary is going to be all about the weather. This is a course answering common questions from kids about weather. All right, course goals. We'll say that kids between ages three and seven, let's say three and six, will learn the basics of weather. Now, one of the things you might want to do if you're creating the course for sale, and by the way, TinyTap gives you 80% of all the revenue and it doesn't cost you anything to create a course for sale. One of the things you might want to do is put in a promotional video about your course. Now you're going to have to create that with an external tool and then upload it to Vimeo or YouTube, but you can put your, your link in there in the promotional video field. We'll come back and do that in just a little bit. Let's say that this course is going to be for kids who are between the ages of three and six. It's going to be in English. All the content I'm going to use will be in English. And let's scroll down to our categories and let's pick out the category science and nature weather. Now, this course is going to be in a playlist format and it's going to be premium and you can choose the price that you want to charge for your course. Now, I'm going to recommend that if it's a very short course, like a course that only has three or four parts in it, you probably only want to charge $2.99 for it. If it's a course that has 30 parts in it, you might want to charge a bit more for it. Now, let's add a cover image and a thumbnail image. And of course, I want to use a picture that's related to weather. If I don't have one readily available on my desktop, what I'm going to do is use pixabay.com where I can find images that are in the public domain and get a picture of, let's say, rain. And I want some pictures of rain. So let's use this one here. And that's a image we can download for free. There it is. And let's now put that into our course. So I'm gonna put that into my course right here by uploading that cover image. There it is. And so that's gonna be my cover image. Let's go ahead and click that to approve it. There we go. And again, if I wanted to use the same thing for a thumbnail, I could do that. Or I can just let TinyTap automatically choose a thumbnail for me, which is what I'm going to do in this case. Now let's get into creating the actual content of the course and we're going to search my games here because this is a premium game i want to search for one of my games that i've previously created about weather so the lesson that i want to include or the activity i want to include in here is about snow and you can see i did a quick search for snow and there it is now i've added it into my course Let's do one for rain. There's my one about rain and my one about wind. 
there's my activity about wind. So I have snow, rain, and wind. Those are the three parts of my course. You could obviously add many more parts to it, but for now, let's leave it as is with those three parts, and we can preview it. And it's here in this preview that you might want to create a quick screencast video by using a tool like Screencast-O-Matic or Screencastify, so you can show some highlights of your course. So we have my three parts here, and you could even give a tiny little preview of what's in one of these segments if you wanted to, and then take that video link and put it into your course description so that people can get a little bit of a preview for your course. So I'm happy with that. Let's save it. My course is now saved. I can always go in here to edit my course details and I could then put in my promotional video for my course. So let's go ahead and put a link in there right now. So I'll put that link in there for my course and everything here. You can see there, TinyTap chose the thumbnail for me based on my course content. Let's update the course. And now we have that course all set and ready to go. And TinyTap will create a course page that looks just like this one here, except it's going to have my course content on it. Now, the next thing you should think about when creating a course is how to get people to actually sign up for the course. And one of the most effective ways to do this is to send out an email about your course. Now, I'm not saying send an email to your students' parents about the course. Don't use your school's email service to send emails about something you're selling. So make that absolutely clear. But I do really like email as a means to tell people about courses that you're selling. I've been doing it for 10 years and I'm gonna show you a tool that I use and is really effective at getting people to sign up for your email list so that you can then send them emails about your course. And that tool is ConvertKit and it makes it really easy. ConvertKit is free for the first 1,000 email addresses that you use. Makes it really easy to create a landing page where you can get people to sign up, let's say for your newsletter. And let's just use this one here. I'll use this first one. You can use any of these templates. It works the same way regardless of which template you pick. And you can say subscribe to my newsletter and fill this in with a little blurb about your newsletter. My newsletter is full of helpful parenting tips and resources that I highly recommend to parents of elementary school kids, let's say that. Now, obviously, I'm going to want to swap out that picture. So let's you know, edit the picture and put in something else or take it out entirely. Okay. So let's replace it here. And you can see this is my real ConvertKit account that I actually use. So you can put in different things in here. I'm going to use this picture here. Okay. And I'll edit that. Let's make it a little bit smaller. We can crop it down. Maybe we'll use it that way. So click done. And we're happy with it. Okay, so there's my image now to subscribe to my newsletter. And people can sign up for the newsletter. And when they sign up, you can go into your settings here and you can even include a little note. Hey, subscribe to my email or make sure you really want to subscribe to this or you can also include in there a little incentive like hey here's a link to my tiny tap course page okay, check it out and of course then you can send emails to everyone who signs up to this list so that's a 
easy way to get people onto an email list for your Tiny Tap courses. And finally, I should point out again that Tiny Tap gives you 80% of all the revenue that your courses generate, and they don't charge you for building a course. So if your course doesn't make any money, Tiny Tap doesn't make any money either. For more things, more information about TinyTap and all the things you can do with TinyTap for free, click the links that are down below in the description here or check out freetechforteachers.com.